Any plans in motion? I plan on winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this gonna look so bad. It's gonna look so bad if I come thirtieth. Mike and I flew out here a couple of weeks early just to recon the stages. You know, Corkscrew is probably Mike's best opportunity. We went out to Corkscrew like every second day and just do efforts. And like, Mike had had the list of shit we got to do for the day. <laughs> Whatever he had on, on the plane, I was just along for the ride. So yeah, I'd follow him, follow him, follow him until like he'd get into like the serious stuff and then he'd just dance away up the hill. And he was intent on learning this downhill, you know, by heart. Which is one of those things that, like, I don't know, no one just, no one really does that in cycling. I don't know why. Like the last few times we went to that descent, I was like, we can't come back here anymore because he was getting so fast on it. And I was just like, no, like, we're gonna like do something stupid, like, and then the whole race will be over before it starts. You're slow mo, bro. I know Corkscrew so well. If I'm feeling really good and I managed to nail the, the run in, which is a really difficult run in, the run down Gorge Road, you're hitting like speeds of up to like 100k an hour and you're just terrified because it's twisting, it's a bit dusty. It's a run in you can really mess up. But if I am able to nail that run in, the way the Corkscrew goes, it's like a six and a half minute effort and you've, you've got this pitch and then flat and then it goes three really hard switchbacks. And on that third, Last switch back, it kind of curves and goes straight. And, uh, if I'm in a good position, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to stand for like 20 seconds, sit for 40, and then just 20 seconds stand, 20 seconds sit, 20 seconds stand, and done. Over the top, there's one corner, it's a right hander that you have to break through, but not too much. And if I can get a gap, I'm going to try and just send it as hard as I can on that descent and take it to the line. Woods, the Canadian, from Frenchy Port, the Australian. He's right on the wheel. Michael Woods under the climb, 6.3. Woods is driving it. Richie Port looking to pass. Let him look as fresh as amazing. He said, come on guys, this is our opportunity to win. Personally, I was really nervous. I'm always really nervous when uh, a finish is coming into a descent. Um, but uh, when he crossed the line, uh, he was upset initially, but I think he'll come to realize he's done everything he could do. And uh, yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be fine. First race of the year. And I mean, he's in awesome form. So it's just a matter of putting it together. I attacked when I thought that was necessary to get, get, a, get a gap. I mean, you can never ride off the GC, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be really tough to, to make in roads. Yeah, Mike's a really good guy to ride for. And as a leader, he's great because he's always like 10% more motivated than everyone else. And then it helps he's just a really good guy <laughs> because like there's nothing worse than having to lay it on the line for a guy who you just kind of like, kind of a kid, you know? I don't perform well when I'm having a bad time or when I'm super focused. I perform best when I'm relaxed. And there have been so many times where I'm on the team bus or sitting around the dinner table with the guys where we're just like laughing hysterically and not even necessarily talking about bikers, we're talking about other things because the guys on the team are dynamic and interesting people. The best though was seeing just like all the track, just trying to keep poor it up. Just, like they kept they were up. burning matches. Just, everyone was just like, the he was shaky or wrong. <laughs> Anytime it gets for 16 k an hour, he gets the shape. <laughs> oh, that's another stupid tattoo I got. Skin dog. Ellie's my number one investor. She told me when I first started cycling uh, to quit my job. She paid all the bills because she believed in me. She believes in me more than I believe in myself. Often when I'm going poorly, she'll give me the pump-up speech, and she's been a, a real source of inspiration and uh, stability in my, over my course of my career. And you see them at the lows, like the, you feel those lows with them because you you put so much into 
to helping support this dream. It's not really about a result, it's more about his, his happiness at the end of it, and that's really what I care about. All right, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. This is what we want to do today, okay? Nothing's going to come in the cl classification if we don't do this. Mike, I don't want you to think about a single thing all day, apart from being in position at the bottom of Wollonga, which means protecting him. It means riding as a team. And that's going to be our most important asset today. Dan, if we have to ride, I'm going to use you again. You did a good job the other day. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. Big effort today. We've got one day left. This is it. We lay it on the line as a team, all together with Mike. The rest is going to take care of itself. It's the final day of the Tour Down Under and the race is going to finish at the top of Old Wollonga Hill. More than 40,000 cyclists are expected to ride up to the hill to cheer on the pros and we're going to join the Rafa Cycling Club pilgrimage to soak up the atmosphere. Is there any other sport like this where you can ride the course ahead of the pros? Can you shoot hoops at the Staples Centre or step up to the plate at the Yankee Stadium? I don't think so. Cycling is the greatest sport in the world. This is Richie's Hill. He's won five times in a row. Can he win a sixth time or can Mike Wads come round him and dethrone the King of Wollonga? Radio check. Copy, Mike, copy. Alberto. Cabin crew, 20 minutes for departure. Welcome to this, the sixth and final stage of 2019. Seat of two down under. Seven riders in the lead group, numbers to follow. Mark and I've got again. Trying to get things going. So they're asking for us. He's talking about trying to use me or Scully leading into the climb. And I'm like, yeah, I bet you are. I might buy him a beer as well after the race. Yeah, the peloton now coming into the feed zone into the Wollonga. Well, it's going fine. We need a ride at the front. Bye. Dan, this is just great stuff, mate. If we all put in like this today, we're gonna f***ing have it. Really good. Dan, you're doing a f***ing heroic job, mate. Come on, a little bit more. That's great. Setting the bar for us today, mate. Really good. I mean, Mike's an athlete who gives more when his teammates have given more. So if, if he sees everyone around him working extra hard, it gives him more motivation. He just kind of feeds off it, I think. Dan, great job, mate. Great stuff. It's one year at the top. Great work, Dan. Here we go. Bike race time. Great work, guys. Great work. Mitch, Scud, this is going to be a big job for you. We need you over the top. Jimmy, Lockie, use the climb. Work your way to the front. We need you. Come on. Mike, you're the third best rider in the world. You ride wherever the f you want to ride, mate. We have a final race controlled by Team Sky and Education First. That's it, guys. That's it. Come on, man. You're going to do this, Woody. You're going to do this, man. Now, Mike. Now, now, now. Everything to the front. Everything to the front. Come on, Mike. Come on. You're going to have this, man. You're going to have this, man. Come on. Oh! See what we were doing too, like before, because like your down guys, like I was using track as my lead out. You know, like notice how that I was like slotted in right between track. Like I just you pick a train and you just treat them as your team. Yeah, makes sense. That's exactly what you need to do. Dude, you were that was like it, there's so many guys that ride ten years that. Try and do that in can you just did that so that was that was exceptional man. You gotta be really proud of yourself. I came in today hoping to try and win. Uh, the way the corkscrew went, I knew I was one of the top climbers here and I didn't race to come 
second or third I raced to win today, but uh, just didn't have the legs. Disappointed in the position. I would have liked to have podium today, uh, but uh, that's bike racing sometimes.